Santiago de Compostela is the capital of the Autonomous Community of Galicia, in northwestern Spain. The city has its origin in the shrine of St. James the Great, now the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, as the destination of the Way of St. James, a leading Catholic pilgrimage route since the 9th century. In 1985, the city's old town was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Toponym Santiago is the local Galician evolution of vulgar Latin Sanctus Jacobus, Saint James. According to legend, Compostela derives from the Latin Campus Stelli, i.e., Field of the Star. It seems unlikely, however, that this phrase could have yielded the modern Compostela under normal evolution from Latin to medieval Galician. Other etymologies derive the name from Latin compositum, local vulgar Latin composita tela, meaning burial ground, or simply from Latin compositella, meaning the well-composed one. Other sites in Galicia share this toponym, akin to Compostela in the province of Leon. The city The cathedral borders the main plaza of the old and well-preserved city. According to medieval legend, the remains of the Apostle James were brought to Galicia for burial. In 813, the light of a bright star guided a shepherd who was watching his flock at night to the burial site in Santiago de Compostela. This site was originally called Mount Libridan and its physical topography leads prevalent sea-borne winds to clear the cloud deck immediately overhead. The shepherd quickly reported his discovery to the Bishop of Iria, Bishop Teodomiro. The bishop declared that the remains were those of the Apostle James and immediately notified King Alfonso II in Oviedo. To honor St. James, the cathedral was built on the spot where his remains were said to have been found. The legend, which included numerous miraculous events, enabled the Catholic faithful to bolster support for their stronghold in northern Spain during the Christian Crusades against the Moors, but also led to the growth and development of the city. Along the western side of the Praza do Obradoiro is the elegant 18th century Pazo de Raxoy, now the city hall. Across the square is the Pazo de Raxoy, Raxis Palace, the town hall, and on the right from the cathedral steps is the Hostel dos Reis Católicos, founded in 1492 by the Catholic monarchs Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon as a pilgrim's hospice, now a parador. The Obradoiro facade of the cathedral, the best known, is depicted on the Spanish euro coins of 1 cent, 2 cents, and 5 cents, 1 cent, 2 cents, and 5 cents. Santiago is the site of the University of Santiago de Compostela, established in the early 16th century. The main campus can be seen best from an alcove in the large municipal park in the center of the city. Within the old town there are many narrow winding streets full of historic buildings. The new town all around it has less character though some of the older parts of the new town have some big flats in them. Santiago de Compostela has a substantial nightlife. Both in the new town, a Zona Nova in Galician, La Zona Nueva in Spanish or Ensanche, and the old town, a Zona Vela in Galician or La Zona Vieja in Spanish, trade branded as Zona Monumental, a mix of middle aged residents and younger students maintain a lively presence until the early hours of the morning. Radiating from the center of the city, the historic cathedral is surrounded by paved granite streets, tucked away in the old town, and separated from the newer part of the city by the largest of many parks throughout the city, Parque da Alameda. Santiago gives its name to one of the four military orders of Spain, Santiago, Calatrava, Alcantara and Montesa. One of the most important economic centers in Galicia, Santiago is the seat for organizations like Association for Equal and Fair Trade Pangaea. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate Under the Köppen climate classification, Santiago de Compostela has a temperate oceanic CFB climate, with mild to warm and somewhat dry summers and mild, wet winters. The prevailing winds from the Atlantic and the surrounding mountains combine to give Santiago some of Spain's highest rainfall, about 1,550 mm in annually. The climate is mild, frosts are common only in December, January and February, with an average of just eight days per year, while snow is rare, temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit are exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Administration The city is governed by a mayor-council form of government. Following the May 24, 2015 municipal elections the mayor of Santiago is Martino Noriega Sánchez of Compostela Aberta CA. No party has a majority in the city council Concello. Topic 2015 city council elections results Topic Population The population of the city in 2012 was 95,671 inhabitants, while the metropolitan area reaches 178,695. In 2010 there were 4,111 foreigners living in the city, representing 4.3% of the total population. The main nationalities are Brazilians 11%, Portuguese 8%, and Colombians 7%. By language, according to 2008 data, 21.17% of the population always speak in Galician, 15% always speak in Spanish, 31% mostly in Galician and the 32.17% mostly in Spanish. According to a Zunta de Galicia 2010 study the 38.5% of the city primary and secondary education students had Galician as their mother tongue. History The area of Santiago de Compostela was a Roman cemetery by the 4th century and was occupied by the Subi in the early 5th century, when they settled in Galicia and Portugal during the initial collapse of the Roman Empire. The area was later attributed to the bishopric of Iria Flavia in the 6th century, in the partition usually known as Parochial Suvorum, ordered by King Theodomar. In 585, the settlement was annexed along with the rest of Subi Kingdom by Leovigild as the 6th province of the Visigothic Kingdom. Possibly raided from 711 to 739 by the Arabs, the bishopric of Iria was incorporated into the Kingdom of Asturias c. 750. At some point between 818 and 842, during the reign of Alfonso II of Asturias, Bishop Theodomar of Iria d. 847 claimed to have found some remains which were attributed to St. James the Greater. This discovery was accepted in part because the Leo III and Charlemagne, who had died in 814, had acknowledged Asturias as a kingdom and Alfonso II as king, and had also crafted close political and ecclesiastic ties. Around the place of the discovery a new settlement and centre of pilgrimage emerged, which was known to the author Usured in 865 and which was called Compostela by the 10th century. The cult of St. James of Compostela was just one of many arising throughout northern Iberia during the 10th and 11th centuries, as rulers encouraged their own region-specific cults, such as St. Eulalia in Oviedo and St. Emilian in Castile. After the center of Asturian political power moved from Oviedo to Leon in 910, Compostela became more politically relevant, and several kings of Galicia and of Leon were acclaimed by the Galician noblemen and crowned and anointed by the local bishop at the cathedral, among them Ordoño IV in 958, Bermudo II in 982, and Alfonso VII in 1111, by which time Compostela had become capital of the Kingdom of Galicia. Later, 12th century kings were also sepulchred in the cathedral, namely Fernando II and Alfonso IX, last of the kings of Leon and Galicia before both kingdoms were united with the Kingdom of Castile. During this same 10th century and in the first years of the 11th century Viking raiders tried to assault the town. Galicia is known in the Nordic sagas as Jacobsland or Galazaland and Bishop Sisonin II, who was killed in battle against them in 968, ordered the construction of a walled fortress to protect the sacred place. In 997 Compostela was assaulted and partially destroyed by Ibn Abi Amir known as Al-Mansur, Andalusian leader accompanied in his raid by Christian lords, who all received a share of the booty. However, the Andalusian commander showed no interest in the alleged relics of St. James. In response to these challenges Bishop Cresconio, in the mid-11th century, fortified the entire town, building walls and defensive towers. 
According to some authors, by the middle years of the 11th century the site had already become a pan-European place of peregrination, while others maintain that the cult to St. James was before 11–12 th centuries an essentially Galician affair, supported by Asturian and Leonese kings to win over faltering Galician loyalties. Santiago would become in the course of the following century a main Catholic shrine second only to Rome and Jerusalem. In the 12th century, under the impulse of Bishop Diego Gelmirez, Compostela became an archbishopric, attracting a large and multinational population. Under the rule of this prelate, the townspeople rebelled, headed by the local council, beginning a secular tradition of confrontation by the people of the city—who fought for self-government—against the local bishop, the secular and jurisdictional lord of the city and of its fief, the semi-independent Terra de Santiago, land of Saint James. The culminating moment in this confrontation was reached in the 14th century, when the new prelate, the Frenchman Beringer de Landor, treacherously executed the councillors of the city in his castle of A. Rocha Forte, the Strong Rock, Castle, after inviting them for talks. Santiago de Compostela was captured and sacked by the French during the Napoleonic Wars. As a result, the remains attributed to the apostle were lost for near a century, hidden inside a cist in the crypts of the cathedral of the city. The excavations conducted in the cathedral during the 19th and 20th centuries uncovered a Roman cella memoriae or martyrium, around which grew a small cemetery in Roman and Suevi times which was later abandoned. This martyrium, which proves the existence of an old Christian holy place, has been sometimes attributed to Priscillian, although without further proof. Economy. Santiago's economy, although still heavily dependent on public administration i.e. being the headquarters of the autonomous government of Galicia, cultural tourism, industry, and higher education through its university, is becoming increasingly diversified. New industries such as timber transformation FINSA, the automotive industry UROVESA, and telecommunications and electronics Blusens and Televes have been established. Banco Gallego, a banking institution owned by Galicia, has its headquarters in downtown Rua do Horeo. Tourism is very important thanks to the Way of St. James, particularly in Holy Compostelan years when the 25th of July falls on a Sunday. Following the Zunta's considerable investment and hugely successful advertising campaign for the Holy Year of 1993, the number of pilgrims completing the route has been steadily rising. More than 272,000 pilgrims made the trip during the course of the Holy Year of 2010. Following 2010, the next Holy Year will not be for another 11 years when St. James' Feast Day again falls on a Sunday. Outside of Holy Years, the city still receives a remarkable number of pilgrims. In 2013, 215,880 people completed the pilgrimage. In 2014, there were 237,983 persons. In 2015, there were 262,513 persons and in 2016, there were 277,854 persons. Editorial Compostela owns daily newspaper El Correo Gallego, a local TV, and a radio station. Galician language online news portal Galicia Hawks is also based in the city. Television de Galicia, the public broadcaster corporation of Galicia, has its headquarters in Santiago. Topic. Way of St. James The legend that St. James found his way to the Iberian Peninsula and had preached there is one of a number of early traditions concerning the missionary activities and final resting places of the Apostles of Jesus. Although the 1884 bull of Pope Leo XIII Omnipotens Deus accepted the authenticity of the relics at Compostela, the Vatican remains uncommitted as to whether the relics are those of St. James the Greater, while continuing to promote the more general benefits of pilgrimage to the site. Pope Benedict XVI undertook a ceremonial pilgrimage to the site on his visit to Spain in 2010. Legends. According to a tradition that can be traced back at least to the 12th century, when it was recorded in the Codex Calixtinus, St. James decided to return to the Holy Land after preaching in Galicia. 
There he was beheaded, but his disciples got his body to Jaffa, where they found a marvelous stone ship which miraculously conducted them and the apostles' body to Iria Flavia, back in Galicia. There, the disciples asked the local pagan queen Loba she wolf for permission to bury the body. She, annoyed, decided to deceive them, sending them to pick a pair of oxen she allegedly had by the Pico Sacro, a local sacred mountain where a dragon dwelt, hoping that the dragon would kill the Christians, but as soon as the beast attacked the disciples, at the sight of the cross, the dragon exploded. Then the disciples marched to collect the oxen, which were actually wild bulls which the queen used to punish her enemies, but again, at the sight of the Christian's cross, the bulls calmed down, and after being subjected to a yoke they carried the apostle's body to the place where now Compostela is. The legend was again referred with minor changes by the Czech traveller Yaroslav Lev of Rosmatal. In the 15th century, the relics were said to have been later rediscovered in the 9th century by a hermit named Pelagius, who after observing strange lights in a local forest went for help after the local bishop, Theodomar of Iria, in the west of Galicia. The legend affirms that Theodomar was then guided to the spot by a star, drawing upon a familiar myth element, hence, Compostela was given an etymology as a corruption of Campus Stelli, field of stars. In the 15th century, the red banner which guided the Galician armies to battle, was still preserved in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, in the center St. James riding a white horse and wearing a white cloak, sword in hand. The legend of the miraculous armed intervention of St. James, disguised as a white knight to help the Christians when battling the Muslims, was a recurrent myth during the High Middle Ages. Establishment of the shrine The 1,000-year-old pilgrimage to the shrine of St. James in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela is known in English as the Way of St. James and in Spanish as the Camino de Santiago. Over 100,000 pilgrims travel to the city each year from points all over Europe and other parts of the world. The pilgrimage has been the subject of many books, television programs, and films, notably Brian Sewell's The Naked Pilgrim produced for the British television channel Channel 5 and the Martin Sheen, Emilio Estevez collaboration The Way. <laughs> Pre-Christian legends As the lowest lying land on that stretch of coast, the city's site took on added significance. Legends supposed of Celtic origin made it the place where the souls of the dead gathered to follow the sun across the sea. Those unworthy of going to the land of the dead haunted Galicia as the Santa Campania or Estadia. In popular culture Santiago de Compostela is featured prominently in the 1988 historical fiction novel Sharp's Rifles, by Bernard Cornwell, which takes place during the French invasion of Galicia, January 1809, during the Napoleonic Wars. The music video for Una Cerveza, by Rafaga, is set in the historic part of Santiago de Compostela. A pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela provides the narrative framework of the Luis Buñuel film La Voie Lactée The Milky Way. A mystic pilgrimage was portrayed in the autobiography and romance The Pilgrimage, O Diario de Um Mago, of Brazilian writer Paulo Coelho, published in 1987. <laughs> Main sites Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela Pazo de Raxoi, City Hall and Office of the President of the Zunta of Galicia 12th century Colexiata de Santa Maria du Sar, 16th century Baroque Abbey of San Martin Panario, University of Santiago de Compostela, Centro Gallego de Arte Contemporanea, Galician Center for Contemporary Art, designed by Alvaro Cesa Vieira, Parque de San Domingos de Bonneville, redesigned by Eduardo Chalita and Alvaro Cesa Vieira, City of Culture of Galicia, designed by Peter Eisenman. Parque da Alameda, Alameda's Park. Parque de Carlomagno, Carlomagno's Park. 17th century convent and church of San Francisco. Topic: Transport. Santiago de Compostela is served by Santiago de Compostela Airport and a rail service.
Topic: <inaudible> Airport. Santiago de Compostela Airport is the second busiest airport in northern Spain after Bilbao Airport. The airport is located in the parish of Lavacala, 12 kilometers from the city center and handled 2,644,925 passengers in 2017. Topic: Railway <inaudible> 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 The town is linked to the Spanish high-speed railway network. Madrid is reached in about 5 hours and 10 minutes. Porto can also be reached in less than 5 hours changing to the Celta train in Vigo. On the 24th of July 2013, there was a serious rail accident near the city in which 79 people died and at least 130 were injured when a train derailed on a bend as it approached Compostela station. Topic Sports teams: Obradoiro Cab basketball, nine seasons in Liga ACB; SD Compostela football, four seasons in La Liga; Santiago Futsal football, fifteen seasons in LNFS; Black Ravens American football, one season in LNFA and two seasons in LPFA. Escuderia Compostela motorsport rally Botafumero organizer. Santiago Rugby Club Rugby Union Topic Notable People Bernal de Bonneville a 13th century troubadour in the Kingdom of Galicia who wrote in the Galician Portuguese language Sancho de Andrade de Figueroa 1632 to 1702 a Roman Catholic prelate bishop of Quito 1688 to 1702 and bishop of Ayacucho Ohuamanga 1679 to 1688 Juan Antonio Garcia de Bauzas C.1680-1755 a Spanish baroque painter his principal works are in the churches at Santiago Eugenio Montero Rios (1832–1914), politician, served briefly as Prime Minister of Spain in 1905. Rosalía de Castro (1837–1885), a Spanish Romanticist writer and poet. Antonio Machado Álvarez (1848–1893), known by his pseudonym de Mafalo, a writer, anthropologist, and Spanish folklorist. Modesto Brocos (1852–1936), a Brazilian painter, designer, and engraver of Galician origin. Carmen Babiano Mendez Núñez (1852–1914), a Spanish painter and a pioneer in feminine art. Manuel Maria Puga y Parga, aka Picadillo (1874–1918), a culinary writer and gastronome, popularized traditional Galician cooking. José Robles (1897–1937), a Spanish academic, left-wing activist, born to an aristocratic family, went into exile in the USA. Juan Sines Díaz García (1904–1990), a Spanish entrepreneur and Carlist politician. Gerardo Fernández Albor (born 1917), a Galician physician and politician, president of Galicia from 1981 to 1987. Isaac Diaz Pardo 1920 to 2012 a Galician intellectual and painter ceramist designer editor and businessman Zohana Torres 1931 to 2017 a Spanish writer poet playwright and member of the Royal Galician Academy Adela Acres born 1933 a Spanish born textile and fiber artist raised in Peru and Cuba now lives in Guerneville California José Manuel Bayres, born 1936, a Galician politician, economist, writer and intellectual. Roberto Vidal Bolaño, 1950 to 2002, a Galician playwright and actor, celebrated by Galician Literature Day in 2013. Ana Romero Mejia, born 1952, a Galician historian, archaeologist and academic. Mariano Rajoy, born 1955, a Spanish politician, Prime Minister of Spain from 2011 to 2018. Suso de Toro, born 1956, a Spanish writer of more than 20 novels and plays in Galician. Carlos Ferraz Sexto, born 1965, a Galician geographer and academic. Octavio Vasquez, born 1972, a Galician-American, New York-based composer of classical music. 
Yolanda Castaño, born 1977, a Galician painter, literary critic, and poet. Topic: Sport. Andrés Dominguez Candel, 1918 to 1978, aka Perita, a Spanish footballer who played as a forward. José Luis Veloso, born 1937, a retired Spanish footballer, 278 pro appearances. Tomás Reñones, born 1960, known as Tomás, a retired Spanish footballer, nearly 500 pro appearances. Mancho Fernández, born 1969, a Spanish basketball manager and coach. Emilio José Vaquera, born 1974, a retired Spanish footballer who made 454 pro appearances. Manuel Castañeras, born 1979, a Spanish retired footballer, over 300 pro appearances. Ruben González Rocha, born 1982, known as Ruben, is a Spanish professional footballer who plays as a central defender. Borja Golan, born 1983, a professional squash player who represents Spain. Ivan Carroll, born 1985, a Spanish professional footballer. Veronica Bouquet, born 1987, a Galician-born Spanish footballer. José Ángel Antelo, born 1987, a Spanish professional basketball player. Alberto Manuel Dominguez Rivas, born 1988, known as Alberto, is a Spanish footballer who plays as a goalkeeper. Topic: <laughs> International relations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Twin towns, sister cities. Santiago de Compostela is twinned with. Topic. See also. Auditorio Monte do Gozo. Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. Musica and Compostela. Order of Santiago. Santiago de Compostela derailment. As Orphas. Equals equals notes.